If you've ever wondered if the diet that you're eating is a diet that's ideal for your individual biochemistry in your body, well, I want you to keep watching because in this video, we're gonna install a continuous glucose monitor on myself and I'll share with you how easy it is to install and why you should be doing it as we unpack the box from NutriSense. So if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know, we've done many live streams back going back to 2017, where I wear a continuous glucose monitor and share with you ideas about how fasting, sauna therapy, using berberine hydrochloride and other natural compounds, how those can improve blood sugar health and regulation. We haven't really done an installation video recently, so I wanted to do that. So this is the box you get from NutriSense.io, and they're not paying me to do this, uh, although I did get this for free. And I told them that I would do an unboxing video. Now, they're taking advantage of the Abbott Freestyle Libre Continuous Glucose Monitor. Okay. So, essentially what this is, it's going to assess in real time your body's glucose levels. Okay. Now, this is much more convenient and you get a lot better data compared to constantly pricking your finger. Ah, come on, man. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with using a glucometer that you can buy at Rite Aid or CVS or any local drugstore that's, that's near you. The downside is you have to constantly prick your finger, test it, and then they don't really have Bluetooth or app inter, you know, interfaces with your iPhone, which is how the NutriSense sensor is, this is essentially the, you know, you have the sensor and then you have the reader right here, which is your phone. So it's very convenient to aggregate data to look at real time, you can test multiple times a day. Uh, it's great. And what's also unique about this is if you have a doctor or health professional that you're working with that doesn't feel that you need to test your glucose, which I don't know why anyone would think that, but some doctors don't know what to do with this data and they, they don't want to be held responsible for any issues that may occur, okay? Uh, and what I mean by that is hypoglycemic crashes and so forth. And so NutriSense allows you to work with a dietitian and bypass seeing and trying to convince your health professional that may or may not be interested in you having access to your data. So that's why I recommend them. Now, here's basically what the kit entails. It has, you have this little sensor right here and the applicator. It couldn't be easier, okay? Basically what you're going to do, and why, before I open that, what I'm going to do just to be safe, okay? I'm going to clean my hands with the alcohol swabs that are contained herein. Clean my hands like this. Okay, just move it around. And then what I'm going to do is take the, the alcohol uh, probe. And what I'm going to do is clean kind of the fattest part of my tricep. Okay? Right here. All right. Now you undo this guy. This is what it looks like. Then you take this guy right here. You un This is the applicator. So you unscrew this. And what you're trying to do here is there's a little slit in there, okay? It's, it's basically the bottom, there's a little T here, okay? So you just press this in. Okay, that's loading it. Now it's primed, okay? So this thing's ready. Now, if you don't really like needles like me, then you don't want to really look at this because there's a fairly large, I want to say it's about a 20 gauge, maybe it's a 23 gauge needle. It looks intimidating. You're not even going to feel it because it goes in and out very quickly. And in that process, what happens is um, the, the electric probe is left in your arm. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we have our phone ready so we can sync and activate the device once it goes in. But you just have to kind of man up and put it on. Okay, take my tricep. Again, I already cleaned it off, the fattest part, okay? I'm just going to press, okay? One, two, three, press. Okay, it's in, didn't really hurt. Now, I don't really know if it, I can't really see it. Sometimes you got to kind of twist it a little bit. Boom, it's on just like that, okay? So it literally didn't hurt. I found that if you put it in kind of the fattest part of your arm, it's not really going to bother you. Um, if you put it into the muscle, I've had it more on the lateral part of my tricep, right here. And every time I moved, it hurt. So this time I kind of put it more on that fattier part. And I don't feel it at all. What I'm going to do because I go in the sauna, I move around and all this, I'm going to put a little bandage around it. I don't know if I can do this and talk to you at the same time. 
but I might do this in the mirror. Um, but this is a little bandage and, and this doesn't affect the efficacy of the device. It just prevents it from ripping off when you take off your clothing, uh, when you're working out, if someone bumps into you, stuff like that, because but the bandage helps with that. So I've found that if I go in the sauna about four to five days a week, which I like to do, if I exercise and so on, it lasts me about 10 days. The sensor really has a shelf life of about 14 days. Okay, so now that we have the, the sensor installed on my arm, basically NutriSense has this great app. What I'm gonna do here is go to settings, add new device, sensor settings, activate new sensor, and what I'm gonna do, just hold it really close. All right, so I activated the sensor and I'll hit scan, which is this guy, I'll just see what it says. All right, now of course the, the readings are gonna be a little bit wonky, it's gonna take about half an hour to get it totally dialed in. And what I'm also gonna do here, and I'll, I'll add another video to this video, is show you how, like, how I calibrate the sensor. You know, the FDA allows a 5% variance on these things. And so what I might do is just to, just to check and see and I can calibrate the sensor. And so what you wanna do is look for a lot of deviation from your baseline. And that's gonna give you some insight about how to change your diet, how to change your stress, how to improve your sleep, how to improve your exercise and all that. So, you know, again, we don't wanna be scared about little, little ebbs and flows in our glucose, but we don't want our baseline to be pushed up, okay? And we also don't want extreme glucose variability or glycemic variability. So those are things we want to work on. So again, I would encourage you to do this, especially if you're transitioning to a new feeding fasting pattern. Uh, if you're wondering if a keto or carnivore diet is, is worthwhile for you, uh, or if you just want to optimize your health and you want some real-time feedback. You know, sometimes we think that cookies and chips and gluten-free crackers are good for us until we have data like this and we realize that maybe those decisions weren't the best because they're causing massive swings in your glucose. So uh, definitely check this out. I'll link to older videos. I was really impressed with how berberine hydrochloride, when taking that, how it really had a nice, you know, supportive effect on preventing these massive swings in my glucose and it really cranked up my ketones. Walking after a meal seems to really help. So I'll put videos below that we've done over the past few years that you might find helpful. And also Tab Furcha, I wanna thank him. He's the founder and CEO of free fly systems and he's been doing continuous glucose monitoring for a very long time so uh, he inspired me as well so appreciate you tuning in to this video definitely check out nutrisense.io they can hook you up with this for i think it's around 140 bucks for maybe even they have, they have different specials going on right now so check it out it's more data it's better to test not guess so more data is helpful all right catch you on a, on a future episode down the road